On this episode, we end up back home having survived Hurricane Lane in Hawaii. What is up guys? My name is Alex Caves and welcome to another weekly update. And yes, we had a scare of a major hurricane hitting Oahu the last two days I was there. Luckily, the hurricane went from category three to a tropical storm overnight uh, from Thursday to Friday. But unfortunately, uh, everything remained closed and advised not to go outside. So I lost a third of my trip, which was not fun, but I got to still do some awesome stuff. So overall, an incredible trip. Check it out. Staying with my friends this time and not a hostel, working on studio caves and going on adventures in Hawaii gave me an amazing insight as to how it would be like to actually live there. And every time I travel, I try to imagine what it would be like to live in that location. I always compare it to Hawaii, but Hawaii is still number one on my list. And I've been to many places around the world. There's just something about the colors, the ocean, the lifestyle. Everything is so vibrant and so perfect. Oh my gosh. But here's the catch. If you're gonna do Hawaii, you have to do Hawaii the right way, meaning money. The cost of living in Hawaii is expensive as fuck. If you really want to live well in Hawaii, you need to be doing very, very well financially. And that is why Hawaii is my ultimate goal and not a short-term push. Because my dream is to have a nice house with a giant workshop to create anything I can dream of and to have enough property to create small complexes of tiny homes so that family, friends, uh, fellow designers can come stay, enjoy Hawaii, and collaborate on some awesome projects. <sighs> that, that would be pretty sweet. <laughs> ah. Anyway, back to the update. The first thing I did this week was renting a scooter so that I could buzz around and hit up all the cafes to work on the YouTube side of Studio Caves because I was working. By the way, having a scooter in Hawaii is the best. I highly recommend it. Uh, you get an unobstructed view while you're riding. The view is pretty fantastic. And you can park anywhere, It's just the best. And having this little uh, tripod thingy worked amazing using my iPhone as the GPS. And you can see it in this picture right here how it wrapped around the handlebars and surprisingly, it even held up to the bumpiest of roads. Uh, very practical, versatile, and affordable. I got both of these, this tripod octopus iPhone holder from Amazon. I'll put the link in the description below. Um, and I actually bought something similar uh, of this from Best Buy for 20 bucks and it did not work out. So this is a lot cheaper. You should go with it. I recommend it. So a day in the life looked like this. Going to Starbucks or a cafe in the morning, did some work till midday, grabbed some amazing Japanese lunch at this place called uh, Shirokia, a Japanese food court in Alamoana Mall. Oh my 
God, it was heaven. And after that, I headed off with my buddies to go on adventures in the afternoon. And during the middle of the week, we finally got our podcast up on iTunes. Great job, Ben, on making that happen. Please subscribe and listen to them. We are very excited. And we also uploaded the video form of the episode one on our channel, uh, which whichever you prefer, video or audio, we got you covered. Please check it out and give us feedback so that we can improve what we do. So on the last episode, I said I was going to meet up with some design firms in Hawaii to check out their operations and everything, but I wasn't able to due to, well, you know, the hurricane. Uh, in the last two days was caught up in the whole frenzy, everything shutting down to prepare for the threat uh, that never came <laughs> to Oahu. But it did hit on the Big Island, so please send some love uh, because they took the brunt of the hurricane with the winds and the rain, and they had some major flooding. So we wish them well for a quick recovery. And one last thing, inside of Shirokia there was a little store where I got this really cool mechanical pencil. This one right here. It is engineered to where if you put enough pressure down on the lead to where it would normally break, this tip, metal tip, would slide down, prevent it from breaking. It's it's a really cool engineering, oh, incredible design and innovation. Japanese design is top notch. I bought one for Ben and Nochi for all of their hard work they've been putting into Studio Caves. I hope you guys like it. Well, that concludes our weekly update. Uh, please subscribe, like, and comment below. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next week. So there's a hurricane coming. As you can see, people are starting to board up their businesses. And uh, it's cloudy today. It's supposed to hit tonight.